Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K20. Today, I actually haven't done one of these videos in a while, but it is a prediction video. We all know that you love my predictions because they're almost never true. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, yeah, I did pretty well last year, I think, for the most part. Um, but yeah, no, I did want to bring these back because we actually got a hint on what the content could potentially be tomorrow. Um, Robbie or Ronnie, I forget where it was, but one of them said they were going to be releasing some, uh, leap year content. And then also during the all-star break, they were mentioning, I think, uh, Robbie was answering a Q and a where it was, he was answering, where's Spud Webb? Where's Nate Robinson? So leap year. Nate Robinson, Spud Webb, what do they all have in common? Well, leaping is jumping, and jumping is dunking. Jumping, dunking, unless there's going to be a layup uh, promo. And uh, <laughs> let's be real, there's not going to be a layup promo, so that's not going to happen. But um, yeah, I definitely think we're going to see a dunkers type of series tomorrow. Now, what players could be potentially in this? Well, we have, we're in luck here because there are a lot of good cards. Um, they could hit us with some crappy cards too like no one really wants to use the nate robinson and spud web because they are absolute teeny tiny little things in the game and they will get nothing done but regardless they might be fun in triple threat or something like that but i don't know why you guys want some of these cards but hey to each their own to each their own right am i right we're in america right last time i checked okay so yeah um Definitely going to be some dunker packs, I think, if they are going with a leap year. I really can't think of anything else. If you can think anything else that goes along with leap year other than leaping, let me know in the comments below. I may be way off on this, but I'm taking a stab at it. So here we go. Some potential pink diamond slash galaxy opals. I'm just going to put every card image up as a galaxy opal because they could potentially be. First player I'm thinking right off the mind coming to my head is pink diamond. Pink Diamond or Galaxy Opal, Zach Levine. Um, he's been absolutely having like a breakout year. Um, he's been pretty good since he's been on the Bulls, but I feel like he's really shined this year in particular. And Galaxy Opal, maybe have him be a slash point guard. Um, I know it says shooting guard on the card, but I don't know how to do the dual positions thing. So yeah, I definitely see him making a shooting guard slash point guard. Galaxy Opal, Zach Levine could definitely be a thing. Another one. Um, we haven't seen a lot of big men, and one was just in the dunk contest, Mr. Dwight Howard. Now, we did get an Evo card of this, so I would assume that this would probably be an Opal anyways, but granted, not everyone did the Evo, so maybe they do a pink diamond, or regardless, it would be sick. And I wouldn't be shocked if they gave him a three ball, because regardless whether you guys want to accept it or not, he has actually hit like two or three three balls, tying Ben Simmons this year, so I wouldn't be outraged if they actually gave Dwight Howard a three ball, because he has been shooting them this year, not to like a consistency basis, but he has put them up and made some, so I wouldn't be like totally like blown away or anything if they did give him like a 70, 75, something like that, nothing crazy, but something at least makeable. Um, another one that comes off the top of my head, Tracy McGrady was in the dunk contest with Vince Carter. Not sure if he was in another one other than that. I didn't really do my research on that, but Tracy McGrady has some of the most lethal dunks in the game, and he's been known as a dunker. He was in a dunk contest. People are waiting on a McGrady. Could definitely happen. Tracy McGrady, point guard slash shooting guard. Don't be shocked if it happens. Another one that is an amazing dunker is going to be... I just had it at the top of my tongue, and now I can't remember. Tracy McGrady. Why can't I think? Who's another one? Well, another one off the top of my head. Clyde Drexler. Not the most cool one out of all of them, but he was, uh, yeah, he was in a, I mean, he's been in dunk contests with Jordan Dominique, so that could be a thing. I would say Dominique Jordan, but we have opals of them already, so. Um, oh, I, I remembered my player now. Paul George. Paul George has actually been in one or two dunk contests. Never actually won one, but... He was in a few, so could we see a Paul George? Definitely a possibility. Um, the other one that I was really thinking of is a high flyer in the NBA right now. Now, I don't know that they would necessarily do it just because he is still playing. He is still having a great regular season, and he could potentially win Rookie of the Year. And don't argue with me because John Morant and the Grizzlies could def they have the hardest schedule, the hardest remaining NBA schedule, and the Pelicans have the easiest remaining heavy, uh, 
easiest remaining uh, schedule for the season. And you know he's my boy. I can already hear the chants right now. Zion, Zion, Zion. I wouldn't be shocked at all if we saw a Galaxy Opal Zion. And that card would just be the ultimate for me. Probably my most anticipated card for the year would be a Galaxy Opal Zion Williamson. It would just be absolutely nuts. With that saying, John Morant might not actually be too crazy to get like a pink diamond or anything. He's been killing it. Hasn't really gotten much more than that diamond card. And he's been known to throw down a few things. But, you know, some other cards. I mean, I'm really only focusing on like the top tier players we could see. Um, obviously, we could get like Spud Webb, Nate Robinson, Gerald Green might get a diamond. He's always a fan favorite for 2K. Um, some other dunkers that are notably JaVale McGee's been in a dunk contest did pretty well I'm not sure if he won it or not, but he was definitely in one um, Aaron Gordon's already got the pink diamond. Maybe they give him an opal. I would I don't know He was snubbed but that pink diamond might as well as be an opal at this point So I don't really know how you could really improve on that um, I'm trying to think of some other dunkers off the top of my head We either already have them or they're scheduled to come could we see another dr. J Maybe, maybe, I, that, that would be pretty disgusting seeing that our Dr. J we got for slaving on Unlimited sucks, but yeah, that could definitely be a thing. Um, Connie Hawkins, Sean Kemp, um, some other names to throw out that could be Galaxy Opal, um, not Connie Hawkins, but Sean Kemp, um, probably will get an Opal by the end of the year, so would it be in this set? Maybe, he's definitely a dunker. Oh, how did I forget about one of the ultimate dunkers? That won a contest. He freaking flew over a car in Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin. That could definitely be a thing. Blake Griffin. So, yeah. I mean, there are a lot of different players that could be in this set. Um, and like I said, this is really the only thing I could come up with. With them saying leap year content. And some of the players that they had hinted at during the all-star promo so yeah let me know what you guys think i could be way off here maybe they drop flash packs maybe they drop you know prime set again i don't know but i don't know i i if they drop that we haven't seen a promo what's the last promo we actually did see that came it wasn't was it buzzer beater i mean is that a promo is four cards a promo i don't know if that would actually I think All-Star Flash Packs, no, Frostbite. Frostbite was the last one that we actually saw. That wasn't too long ago either, so very, very interesting stuff. Um, and I don't know, would there be a reward? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised if they made like the reward Galaxy Opal Zach Levine with point guard or Tracy McGrady point guard, something really glitchy um, as the main reward. But yeah, guys, I think that is what's coming tomorrow. Um, yeah, so obviously you got to do what you got to do to prepare sell the cards that uh sell the cards that you feel like you're not going to be using maybe still have some high value that could possibly be affected by tomorrow for example if we get a point guard tracy mcgrady i don't know if you want to take the risk and sell lebron while he's still high i don't know if that would really affect his price too much but yeah um yeah just do your due diligence um in preparing for the big promo you want to have some mt if you do happen to see a card that you would like to get but guys that is it for me uh no face cam this video just really didn't feel like it so um don't hate me the face cam will be in all the other videos just this particular one i was like eh don't really care to show my face on this one but yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed what my predictions are and like i said they're just predictions i have no content no source nothing like that other than the hints that you guys have all gotten yourselves um, and if I missed the dunker that you would like to see in this promo, um, let me know in the comments below. Blake Griffin, I can't believe I forgot him. He could definitely get a nice opal. His opal last year was actually pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it again. Thumbs up if you did, and, uh, we'll see what we get tomorrow. All right. Hit the thumbs up if you're new. Subscribe if you're new. Richie Nation. Party on.